Shalom. Before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rechakodash. And double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and continually roll very well to this very day. That's continually feeding the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem El Shai. And also Shalom to the Hofi Leg. That's continually plowing in his work and giving diligence to make your calling and election sure in faith, true and sincerity, and also in all charity. <clears throat> now, our topic of this video is going to be entitled uh, Passover as in the days of Noah. All right. And the reason why uh, I had this video titled this way is because. You know, we're living in a time to where, you know, we're basically us who are the whole feet leg. Only, we're the only ones that really have an understanding on what's really going on in the world. You know, we're the only ones that actually realize what time it is. We realize that the, the times that we're coming into is going to be times of evil. The times of when the Lord is going to start to judge these, these people here on the planet Earth, here in, in the soils of America, which America is known as Babylon the Great in the Bible. And he's going to begin to visit this current world that we live in today. Because wickedness has completely overgrown and has overtaken this place. And to the point to where the people here are in, in uh, just living in a, com in a comfortable spirit. You know, they're not worried about anything that's to come down the, the, the line, you know, in the, in the coming near future. Is because these people are completely blinded, man. The Lord was was uh, spot on when He uh, covered this this land with the spirit of slumber. All right, and put these people into a deep sleep. But as you see, the man of the Lord, you know, we're we're awake. All right, we're awake and we understand what's going on. All right. Now, there's a difference between, because I want to point this out, because you got, you know, people out there saying that, well, you know, I'm, I woke up and this and that. Well, to really, to really be awoken is to know what's going on, all right? It's to know your nationality, to know prophecy, and to know of our Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, El Shai, and his intentions, man. Okay? What, what manner of persons you should be. In this current time that we're in right now, pursuing, uh, I believe, Second Peter. All right, seeing that these things be dissolved—that's what it really means to be awoken. All right, but if you got somebody saying, claiming that they're awoken, they're teaching some off doctrine, and they're not really awake, man. They're really uh, sleepwalking, man. They're half asleep. Somebody might know their nationality, right? They might know they're Israelite. But they don't know anything about the prop. The only thing about prophecy, then there's no. There's, <laughs> that person's not awake, man. That person is really is either half sleep or sleepwalking. All right. But to jump back on the topic at hand, you know these people are are in nothing but uh in the, in the spirit of of being you know comfortable, having good times and this and that. Meanwhile, the Lord is preparing to, to come down and. and and strike this place down to the ground, man. Turn it into a complete desert wasteland. And this is how it's going to be with the new Passover. That's the reason why I titled the video as, as, I, as I did. Because this new Passover is, is going to consist of this land being turned into a complete desolate wilderness. But what you're going to have here is a, a complete turnaround of how these people are conducting themselves. See, right now, these people, they're, they're, they're living comfortable here. They... You know, they don't have to worry about going down to the, the fast food restaurant or going out to the store without, you know, having to, to um, you know, ever, ever having to worry. You know, they can just go there and then come back or do whatever. But it's going to come to a point in time where these people are not going to be able to do that anymore. You're not going to be able to see, you know, these people walking carefree up and down the streets, you know, like said days ago. <laughs> because these cities, see, these cities are going to be locked down. All right, the food is going to be scarce. So there's going to be a complete shift in the vibration of these people. Pursuant to the uh, scriptures where it speaks about 
the servants of the Lord being taken care of. Meanwhile, the ones that are outside the circle, um, they're going to be hungry. They're going to be hungry. They're going to be thirsty. All right. They're going to be in turmoil. Meanwhile, the servants of the Lord, we're going to be all right. All right. So go ahead and jump into the precepts uh, that I got. Son of man, be right. This, this, with this Passover, you know this, this, this is the perfect time to where all these things come into play. All these things start to come together. You know, concerning the flood, concerning how Egypt was taken down, concerning prophecy, <clears throat> concerning the how Sodom and Gomorrah went down. So all these things are coming together to um, pretty much make itself manifest once again in these last days. And, and, and you know what? It's rightfully so because this, this is the last time for these people to enjoy themselves man you know it's been a time the way these people were at, were uh, able to do whatever without facing any harsh judgment but this guess what this is the last go around man because after this is going to be nothing but righteousness it's going to be nothing but uh, a, a, a vibration of uprightness on the earth all right so once again it says but as in the days of Noah were so shall also the coming of the son of man be for as in the days that were before the flood, right, and, and that's how it is today. The days that that's gonna come before this this next coming flood, which is not gonna be of water, but this place is gonna be completely decimated and destroyed by fire. All right. So, like the days that were before the flood, before the destruction, right? Because that's how the earth was destroyed the first time. And guess what they were doing? They were eating and drinking, marrying and giving giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Just like the day. You got people that are eating and drinking. That's why you got the uh, obesity rate at an all-time high here in America. You can go to any any place, any city in the world or in, in America, and there'll always be a fast food restaurant off on the side of the road. Even if you're in, on the interstate in the middle of nowhere, it'll always be a restaurant like a McDonald's sitting somewhere, man. All right? So these people are eating, they're drinking, right? Getting drunk, being in a ride of spirit, uh, partying. You know, uh, having get-togethers, cookouts, which is, is nothing to doing that every now and then. You know, just having uh, having something, you know, just throw something on the grill or whatever. You know, eating out or whatever. But you know, these people are doing ex doing it excessively and in the wrong spirit. All right. <clears throat> so you got people here that are uh, having get-togethers, and you know, you got in the should I say in the wrong spirit? Should I say? And you got, you know, basically uh, marriages going on in which in this in this case, when it speaks about people that are eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. And what's the what's the act of, of, of marriage? What, what what consummates a marriage according to the Bible? Sex. All right. So you got people here on the soils of America that's uh, having sex left and right, man, you know. Especially among our people, man. That's why you see so much adultery going on, going on among our nation. So guess what? In that day, they're going to be eating and drinking like that they are right now. <clears throat> in which they are doing that right now. You got the people that are eating and drinking, right? Uh, in a variety of spirit, clubbing out, going to parties, you know, partying uh, almost every single weekend, partying until they drop. Marrying and giving and giving in marriage, right? Uh, committing adultery. Trying to uh, mack on the next on the next man's woman. All right, <clears throat> and all of that you got to account for this this place also allowing homosexual homosexuality to run rampant. So it's even worse when it comes to uh, marrying and giving in marriage. All right, <clears throat> that says uh, until the day that Noah entered to the ark. Right, and we're and we're enter into the spiritual ark which the the, the ark that we're entering into right now is Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai is going to be the one to deliver us out of this next coming destruction all right so while these people are doing what they're doing we enter into the ark man we're entering into the ark of which is Yahweh Shai which is by what doing his work 
right? Because by doing this work and believing in your how about Shemuel Shah, we're covered. Okay? So when the time comes, we're going to be covered under the spirit of your how about Shemuel Shai. And meanwhile, these people are left out to die, man. All right? So we have entered into the ark, right? It says, and knew not until the flood came, right? And, and here's the thing. Noah was out there. And, you know, it's not specifically written what Noah was doing, even though he was building the ark. But you can guarantee, you can guarantee that he was out prophesying, man. He was saying that, look, if you don't get your minds right, if you don't get yourself together, then this flood is going to come and, and sweep you all away, man. All right? And they didn't believe him because it never rained in those days. So, yeah, it's just like today when we tell people that America's going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire, they don't believe that. They laugh us to scorn. Why? Because America has never been touched by any major war. So what makes the, so what makes you think that America is not going to meet that same end? All right. And they're not going to know until what? Until that fire actually comes and burns them up, man. Which one of the reasons why I brought up the recent video that I did. It says uh, a prophet, uh, the true prophets are among us. And guess what? When that time comes. Then they're going to know that a prophet had been among them. Ezekiel the 33rd chapter, the 33rd verse, man. All right. So it says, uh, I'm read that verse again. 30, verse 39 says, And knew not till the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. And that's right. So also like the Son of Man, the, which is uh, Yahweh Shai. So when he comes back, these people are going to be eating, drinking, giving it, giving it marriage. And then when we enter into that ark, and when that flood comes, they, guess what? It's going to be just like how it was back then. Yahweh Shah's going to come back and find find these people doing uh, just doing all kinds of, of madness and wickedness. And he's going to put uh, put the hammer down to them, man. He's going to give them that just due judgment. All right. Now move on from there. We have another precept. It's the book of uh, uh, Second Peter, the uh, third chapter. Start at the 10th verse. It says, But the day of the Lord, Yahweh about Shemuel Shai, shall come as a thief in the night. Right. And think about a thief approaching approaching to you in the middle of the night. You're not gonna you're not gonna come from, you're not gonna know where he's gonna come from, man. All right, and you're not gonna know if that thief arrives until all your stuff is gone. Alright. So a thief, you know, if, if you know anything about thievery. You know, they do it in secrecy. All right. So with that being said, it's going to be in secrecy when uh, of the time when your house child is going to return. So we don't have the accurate time and date when your house child is going to return. But when he does, the people are not going to be aware. And the only way we can do that or we can uh, gauge his return is, is by what? Prophecy. The signs of the time. Man. All right. I'm gonna read this on. I'm gonna grab the next precept. But said, but it says, uh, but at, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burnt up. All right, man. It's like it's like how the flood swept through the whole entire planet Earth and destroyed everything. Such as also the coming of the Son of Man is gonna be. He's gonna come through and he's gonna sweep everything with fire, man. It's going to make a speedy speedy cleansing of the planet Earth. All right. Now, mind you, the Earth is still going to be here. All right. Let me get that real quick. That's like it. Ecclesiastes, the first chapter and the fourth verse. It says, uh, One generation passeth away, and another generation cometh. But the earth abideth forever. And that's right, man. So the earth always is always going to be here, man. The earth is not going anywhere. All right. So guess what? This when the Lord returns, he's not going to destroy the destroy the whole planet Earth and 
you know, and that's that because these people actually believe that they think that he's going to destroy the planet Earth. And we're all going to be in, ending up in the spirit world. No, it's not. That's not what's going to happen. This place is going to be cleansed with fire. All right. And after it's cleansed with, with that same fire, then we're going to return us being of the hopefully elect we're going to return. And then from that point on, we're going to live in righteousness, man. The kingdom is going to be here physically on the planet Earth. It's not going to it's not going to be where we're just going to continually be in, in heaven for all eternity. All right. So the earth is going to abide it forever. So the earth abide it forever. Then who's going to be here? All right. If that was the case, you know, if we all were to go into the spirit world and stay there, then who's going to who's going to be on the earth? All right. Now I'm going to go from there. Actually, let me get that later. Uh, all right. This is uh, Second Edgers, uh, ninth chapter. In the first verse, it says, He answered me then and said, That's lucky. All right, read on. It says, uh, he answered me then and said, uh, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the eyes will begin to visit the world which he made. And once again, which I mentioned earlier, it said how we measure those times diligently in itself is by way of the, uh, the prophecies. All right. And we have seen parts of the signs past. All right. We've seen blood moons. We've seen uh, solar eclipses, man. All right. We've seen uh, different things happen according to prophecy of, with uh, this current government, this current system. So these things have been happening left and right. The, the mark of the beast, martial law, we see we see these things happening, man. And that's how we measure in the time. Because our Lord, is saying, in that same chapter, which I read earlier in Matthew's the 24th chapter, our Lord Yahweh Shah told us that these things are going to happen before he returns. So guess what? They, they'll let you know that he's very close to returning, man. All right. <clears throat> so that's why it says in the second verse that then shalt thou understand that it's the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right. <clears throat> now I want to grab a, a quick precept uh, in the book of Sirach because I want to make mention of how this place, um, you know, pursuant to the title of the video, which is a uh, Passover, right? In which um, this is going to be a part of the, of the. Oh, actually, this is the new Passover that we come into about us being delivered out of the land of the north, which I covered in um, uh, previous videos. All right. So the Book of Sirach, the tenth chapter, and I'm starting at the uh, second verse. It says, "As the judge of the people is is himself, so are his officers, and what manner of man the ruler of the city is." Such are all they that dwell therein. And that's right, man. So as the judge of the people is, is, is himself. So is his officers. Okay. So as the judge of the people and the ruler of the city. So and then, and then they're in like manner. All right. So if you have a proud uh, ruler, you know, if you got a, a pride for a ruler that doesn't regard the most high or is all completely on the left hand side of wickedness, then guess what, man? So are the people is going to be in like manner. All right. And that's what you see today, man. You see the uh, the ruler, which is a, a Edomite, uh, Edomite, you know, DJ Trump devil. And now and not just him. You got ones that are above him. That's con that's controlling him, man. The ones that are above him that give him. Uh, basically tells him what to say and what to do. And that's your international bankers, your international banking families, man. Those are the ones that actually run. The whole entire planet Earth. Okay. And the only way they was able to gain that power is by way of, of the Lord, Yahweh Bashmiel Shai, so they can rule in this time right now, so they can play that part out in prophecy. All right. They were made to be set up in the very end. All right. So again, it says, as a judge of, of the people, people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. So guess what? These these are known today as modern day Egyptians. All right. 
which I should say, let me rephrase that. These are known as, as spiritual, spiritual Egyptians, man. All right. Because we already know who the, who they are. The actual Egyptians are. All right. But, you know, that'll be that'll be another video for that'll be another topic for another video. But this this place, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt and these people who are spiritually Egyptians. All right. That's, that's living here in, in, in the city, which is called uh, spiritually called Egypt. They're going to face the judgment, man. And that's the reason why I made that that um, statement at the beginning of the video about the Passover and um, as as being in the days of Noah. Because guess what? The same thing that happened back during the time of the Egyptians when they had us in captivity. Guess what? The Lord passed over that whole entire land and destroyed all the firstborn of the Egyptians. And it was a great mourning during that time. Man. It was a great distress and mourning and woe during that time. man. So guess what? In this new Passover, guess what? The Lord's going to pass over these people with the, with the plagues that he has in store. And actually, let me get that real quick. Uh. I had it up, but let me grab it again. Right, so just how the Lord, Yahweh Bashemel Shai, swept through Egypt and smitten it with plagues, guess what? He's going to do the same thing to this place, America. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to end it off on this precept. This is our second edge, the 15th chapter. And uh, I'm going to start at uh, the, ninth, the 10th verse, Slaki. It says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretch our arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Right. So this is how he did back in ancient Egypt. He's going to do the same thing to the city, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. All right. Because guess what? <clears throat> These modern day Egyptians are, are in are in living in pleasure right now, man. Especially this place, which is spiritually called Egypt. So guess what? When the Lord comes through and sweep this place with plagues, guess what? It's gonna be a great morning. It's gonna be a great distress and great great woe in this land of America. All right. And guess what? You're gonna have the Israelites. And when I say Israelites, I mean the elect of Israel, who are gonna be in peace during that time. Because the Lord's gonna pass over, pass over this whole land, and He's gonna spare His election out of this destruction. All right. So prepare yourself, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it off on that note. And uh, once again, our Lord's will is edifying to the body of Yahweh Bashem Shai, the members of the whole elect. Until next time, once again, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rachakodash. And our double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continually rule very well to this very day. Shalom, peace and safety, salutations to the whole elect that's continually plowing in this work and giving diligence to make your calling, the election sure, in faith, true sincerity, and also in our charity. And with that, let's say Shalom.